Welcome to The Idea Space, a podcast devoted to sharing strategies and tools to help you make your dream life possible. I'm your host, Jen Liddy, a teacher turned entrepreneur. It's my mission to help women grow their businesses and get what they want without feeling guilty, overwhelmed, or confused. If you're tired of your ideas spinning around your mind and you really want something more for yourself, you're in the right place. Learn how to create the space to make your ideas a reality. I promise if I can do this, anyone can. Let's go. Happy, happy new year. Welcome to the Idea Space Podcast. I'm your host, Jen Liddy. And all this month of January 2021, we're talking about secrets that make content creation easier. Because the thing is, the more effective and consistent you are with your content creation, the more you connect with your audience and you gain their trust so you can eventually serve them better. You serve them through your free content and then eventually you serve them when they turn into paying customers. The secret I'm sharing today was actually taught to me 17 years ago. I was a high school English teacher and two high school students taught me the power of how our words impact people and how sometimes we have no idea about it. So I want you to imagine some generic high school hallway and I want you to imagine two young women practically dancing down a hallway kind of arm in arm with each other. These two girls were giggling in that way that only certain unaffected, unself-conscious people, not me, can pull off. And this was the Monday before Thanksgiving in 2003. These two had returned from their freshman year at college, wherever they had been. And I, I think they were actually at different colleges. So they were really excited to see each other, but they actually came back to their old high school to visit their teachers and probably to gloat to their younger friends. Um, They were totally blissed out at being back and they were on a total mission. And remember all, like I said, bring yourself back to that high school hallway. There was none of the drama in the high school hallway for these girls. Nothing mattered to them. They were just so freaking happy, like glowing, radiant college freshmen, like just so excited to show off. Just thrilled to be together again. You know what I mean? So they see me in the hall and they stop in their tracks and they're like, Miss Graham, oh my God, we were looking for you. And I was struck silent because, I mean, I had seen them coming down the hall. I was actually standing out in the hall trying to escape my ninth graders who I had put in a group to do some work. But I was struck silent by them because I didn't know who they were. I mean, I obviously, it was a small school. I knew they were former students, but I didn't remember their names. And I always prided myself on remembering my students' names, especially the ones I would have had just last year when they were seniors. So they were, they were um, kind of, you know, chattering, chattering, chattering. What they were basically saying was, Miss Grimm, we came because we have to tell you, thank you so much. And I was like, <laughs> for what? And he was like, you know, remember last year when you gave that awesome presentation in Mrs. Mrs. Russell's class last year? And I was like, oh my God, thank you, thank you. They weren't my students. I wasn't losing my mind. But they went on and on gushing about something that I had taught in a colleague's class, like a one-off thing in a colleague's class, something that just had struck them right and had hung in their brains throughout their entire first semester at college. Something that was just obviously so helpful, and I don't even remember what it was, but they needed to truck down the English hallway and find me and thank me. And honestly, it was something I barely remembered. Even back then, I barely remembered this. Now, I will not lie because it is incredibly meaningful and gratifying to have a young person, especially a teenager, tell you that you meant something important to them during those formative, difficult, strange, weird years of their lives. But this moment happened 17 years ago, and I still remember what I thought when those two girls were chattering away at me. I thought, holy cow, you never ever know who you're going to impact. You literally have no idea who you will affect. And it really hit me in that moment that your words and your actions matter because they affect people either positively or negatively. And that lesson was seared into my brain immediately. It was basically, be careful with your words, Jen, because they matter and they affect people. And I I have to be honest, until that point, I had been fairly careless about that. I'd been fairly careless about my words and actions and didn't really consider how they had affected other people. And I think back to that moment standing outside my ninth grade classroom very often, 
especially when I talk about how we need to show up for our audience as content creators and entrepreneurs, because we never know how our audience is going to hear us or when they'll hear us. We, we never know which post it's going to be on social media or which email we're going to send that will get them really thinking and taking action toward moving ahead on their goals, right? You don't know if it's the wording you use today or a phrase you threw around last week. You have no idea where the light bulb moment will be. You'll have no idea when your audience will finally really hear you or where that moment of conversion will happen. Now, I know you don't want to use sleazy sales promotions and aggressive strategies to market yourself, and you don't have to. I will always say that you do not have to do any of that to get people to hear you but you do need to connect with your audience and engage with your audience in helpful, meaningful ways. But because we don't know when our words are going to land, when our audience is going to pay attention, when they're going to be ready to buy, or when they're finally going to hear us, it's so vital that we show up regularly and consistently. So our message needs to be on brand. It needs to be an offer that they want and they need, and we need to use the words that resonate with them. And so I want to just stop right here and ask you, is your message always on brand? Does your offer resonate with what they want and need? Are you using the words that they use, words that resonate with them? Because I know that you sometimes feel like with your marketing and your content creation and your messaging, that you're basically like opening up the window and yelling out into the great beyond. I know that sometimes you feel no one sees your content or they're not interested. And I know that sometimes you think it's just you who cares about this, but it's not. You never have any idea who you're impacting. In fact, just last month, I heard from a woman who told me she's been lurking on my Facebook page for years, reading it all, and now she's ready to take action. And another new client just told me she used to listen to my podcast while she was living in Japan with her family, and she was dreaming of the business that she wants to help bring to life for her family. That was years ago. Another former client in France who I worked with two years ago, or actually three years ago at this point, she DM'd me to thank me for the messaging that I've been sharing on Instagram and in my podcast interviews because she said they're resonating with her so deeply two years later, three years later. You never have any idea who you're impacting. So please be intentional in your visibility. Be consistent. Go ahead and be heart-centered, be helpful, be generous, because this is a marathon. It is not a sprint. So please don't burn out. And this is the, this is the time of year when people tend to be, you know, like all in and they, they jump in with both feet, but that can be a recipe for burnout. Now, I know that your people need you, even though you never have any idea who you're impacting. So I just want to encourage you, show up, ready to go in this marathon. And I have one last thing to share with you today. If you are tired of being on this content dreadmill and you're looking for realistic strategies that make it easier, because maybe you've been avoiding it, or maybe you don't want to burn out, right? Maybe you're saying, oh, this is the January that I'm going to get my act together with content creation. Well, I actually created a new workshop that'll help impact your content right away. It's a two hour workshop and it's no fluff. I'm a former teacher. You guys know me. I am not here to give you fluff. It's a two hour workshop where you're going to like get your hands dirty and walk away with actual strategies. It's called crack the content code. And it is exactly for you. If you are worried about content creation being too hard, if you feel like you've been spending too much time on content creation and you don't know what you're doing wrong, we're going to talk about the three keys to create content that actually resonates with your audience and connects with them and attracts your ideal clients to you so that you can step off the content creation dreadmill and actually make your time worthwhile. You can go to my website at jenliddy.com forward slash crack. And we are going to be able to have you sign up right there for this two hour workshop. If you are thinking about any questions, please, you can always email me at jen underscore liddy at me.com. I'm happy to answer your questions about this workshop, but I'd love to see you there because This is the year you deserve to connect with your audience, attract them to you, and make the impact you've been dying to make. Thank you for listening. If you know somebody who could use this information, please share it with them. I would appreciate that so much. And I look forward to seeing you back here next week. See you then. Bye. Thanks for joining me today. If you like what you heard, please subscribe to the Idea Space in your podcast app. And tell that friend of yours who needs some help getting where she wants to go 
I'd be so appreciative if you left a review because then we can help more women create the space for their ideas too. Go to jenliddy.com forward slash free to grab the many free resources there to help you move forward. And I will see you next time. Bye.